Hello, Willie Kelly here. On a uh, sunny, now a sunny Wednesday in the coast of Maine. It's a little cloudy earlier, but it's uh, brightening up goodly out there today. And uh, let's see, what's my week been like? I went to uh, Mexico, Maine. I didn't get to downtown, mind you, but took a ride with lovely Lynn over to Mexico, Maine and checked out some uh, granite. And the story that it's not my story, we'll leave it be for now. But I also driving back at a great dinner at a little restaurant. I can't remember the name of, and I'm not sure what town I was in. So you can <laughs> you can figure that one out. I'll, I'll maybe if I think of it, I'll put something in the. I'll find out. I'll figure out where I was and where we ate, and maybe put it in the. Uh, in the text inside of this thing, in the description. So uh, it's getting cooler, getting to be flannel shirt weather. It's uh, getting colorful. The leaves are changing here on the coast. It uh, it's it's quieting down in Maine a little bit. Um, did my last sail on the Margaret Todd out of Bar Harbor. And that was really nice. People were generous and in spirit it, and. Uh, Generous with a few tips, and one uh, fella, Keith, played some tunes. We played, I think it was Old Rugged Cross. I played harmonica, and I let him play my Larve, and, and uh, it was it was pretty fun. People appreciated that, and uh, well-received, and uh, fond farewells on the way out, and it sounds like I maybe I'll play there again next year, next season. So uh, all good, you know. It's It's... Was, uh, was a nice, nice trip. I had uh, mentioned a couple weeks ago, I got a request for some specs on this. And I went on the website, I uh, checked the uh, serial number on a Larve, which is on the neck block. And my serial number says this was made in April 4th, 2003. So you do the math, this is getting a little old. It's, it's gotten yellow. The face was a lot lighter years ago. Um, I just, looks like I replaced one of these or something. That's kind of funny. One's whiter than the others. I don't know what's up with that. But. Uh, so going on the website, the I was asked about the specifications and it's, it's a mahogany. Showed this off, I think, a week or two ago. But mahogany, back and sides, maple binding, which I just think is cool as could be. Um, you know, bound neck with plastic. Dots you can barely see unless you get right up on it. Uh, of course, some dots on the side too, of course. But um, mine has a clear plastic back uh, pick guard, sorry. Clear plastic pick guard, which on the website it shows with a tortoise shell pick guard. And you can buy those from the website. There's a chance I might want to get the tortoise shell pick guard. I don't know. I mean, I don't typically beat the body of my guitar too much. So, you know, the pick guard only comes to here, and I'm not digging it up or anything. I guess I just don't beat on it like that. But, um,. Pick guards like right there, but I don't know. Maybe I I always kind of liked those that pick guard way it looks too. So you can leave me a comment if you've got a. I mean you don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do. But you leave me a comment if you think I should change it or if you like it like it is. I do kind of love the the simplicity of this guitar, the way it looks and the way it feels and it plays nice. And so that said, I would refer you. Not to go down the rabbit hole of all about the history of uh, Larve guitars, but their website, Larve.com, L-A-R-R-I-V. <laughs> Here I am. Already going down the rabbit hole. See how I am? E-E, I-V-E-E. -E. I, I just, stage fright, what can I tell you? So, um... Deer in the headlights when you turn the camera on. That's going to be one of my things to overcome. But 
So anyways, I would refer you to that website. There's a great um, page, the About page. It has a nice story about John Le John Lerve and how the business started and his wife got his gonna be wife got involved does beautiful inlay work i'd love to have a fancy one too i suppose but um of these guitars i mean but um nice nice website real helpful and good feeling so i will just refer you to that i don't need to sit here and read you all the little intricacies of this but this is an om03 so if you do want to if you're interested in what this guitar is this is what it is made in 2003 and a little bit of not sure if it was made in Victoria Canada or um, Oxnard I think um, California they moved around that time so that said on to uh, My week, I have been thinking a little bit about um, that, you know, this this gig, I mean, my last gig for the season on the boat there. And getting on that gig was, I, I had early earlier in the uh, season, like in May, late May, whatever, I kind of said one day, you know, I did, I had lost a gig that I had last year that they, they had had some tragedy in the business and and so um, I was thinking, well, maybe I ought to be playing a little more. You know, I'm lucky to be a musician. I'm lucky to be able to play. I'm, I'm happy that I can do this. And so musicians should be playing, you know, I guess. I've always been a working musician. So. so I was just thinking that, and I didn't really have a plan. I had some places I could maybe call or whatever. And, and uh, I got a phone call like in a couple days. And this friend of mine is, hey, that gig I've been doing, he always, he, for years he did this gig playing, playing on the boat. And uh, he said, hey, you want to take a night of this? Be, you know, I've got some things going on. And, and my first reaction was, well, I don't know. Is that, that's not like what I usually do, you know. I usually have a, a stage or a, at least a corner or something. I don't know. I, and a PA. And I, geez, I just want to carry around a bunch of equipment and, you know. So um, I thought about it a night, and, and the thought that came to me was keep your eyes open. This is kind of a motto for me. I keep your eyes open. You, there's good things around. If you keep your eyes open, you'll see it. And um, I really believe that. And it keeps happening for me. Like this gig, it was not what I would normally do, but... As I was thinking about it, I thought, well, I just said this, I need a gig, and here's a here's a regular steady gig for the summer, you know. What and I mean, why wouldn't I why wouldn't I, right? And you never know when you keep your eyes open, you don't know what the answer's gonna be. That's the trick. And you gotta work to like the answers you get, I guess. But um at least that's what I think, not to get too philosophical here, you know. I'm really a deep thinker, honest. You, you, you know, you'll get to know me, know that part of me, maybe. But uh, that said, it has really turned out well. It was a nice season, and and I'm grateful, trying to do good stuff. And they say gratitude is expressed in action, and that's part of what this is: is to just get online and talk to you about, you know, life is good. And good things happen. So keep your eyes open is the message for me today. And uh, I lived in Bar Harbor for a few years there on and off and uh, played there a lot over the years. And um, as we were sailing in, just getting ready to come back into port, I uh, played a song that I wrote for Bar Harbor years and years and years ago. Um which I think the crew got kind of a kick out of, and the people seem to like, too. Um, oh, as you know, last week I was using a silver pick, a 75 millimeter, but I think, I think I need to get to that little lighter pick right on the acoustic. It works nice. Um, song called Close It Down. Bar Harbor gets wicked quiet, at least it used to. I imagine it still does eventually in the winter. And uh, so I just wanted to, Play this for them and 
I enjoyed it, so I think I want to play it for you. When the warm winds blow And the streets are alive with pretty gals It's hard to believe they'd ever shut it down Well, it's hard to believe They gonna close it down Work like a madman, you don't save every penny, that's right. You won't blow it on your vices like I did last night. It's hard when you're high, think you ever was down. Well, it's hard to believe they gon' close it down. Oh, they gon' close it down, down. Skies are white with snow People pack their skis And to the mountains they go Oh, but howdy might stay around Austin might stay around Thing might stay around Karen might stay around Oh, what a lucky town Whole lot of quiet Lots of nothing to do Walking the streets of tourist town about harvest moon. You see the lines on the town's face, they just tell it you. It's hard to believe another year's come and gone. Well, it's hard to believe they gone. It's all good.